Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video. Today, let's have a look at whether Press Day to 14 Days for today's third video, Day 10, will take us to the 28th of May, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extension yeah, FS and ECM ensembles, where we've around a couple of weeks. Have a look at Surface Week 2 at the end of the video, so it's four weeks, so that will get us into the second week of uh, June. Just say at first, video sales hour, 6 a.m. upload, and we'll also release Storm Watch, so please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Please like, share, subscribe on the video, so thank you so much everybody for doing that, hope you're having a lovely, uh, lovely Wednesday. Right, so sensing temperature has not updated uh, yet from uh, Hadley for today, let's just refresh the page, no, there's no update there, uh, so we're still sitting at 13.3, uh, 2.6 degrees above average provisional to the uh, 16th of May. Hopefully there'll be an update there tomorrow. These are with GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks, uh, looking at Liverpool today. So red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Liverpool. We're starting off a little bit above average at the moment. You'll see the temperatures hovering close to average over the next week or so. But as we go through the closing days of May and into the opening days of June, we find those upper air temperatures lifting up. It's going to become significantly uh, warmer through the closing days of month and into the start of uh, June. Once again, the long, long, long warm hot spell that we've been in for uh, many months now is set to continue. And, um, uh, yeah, we might get some very, very warm weather indeed as we go into the opening days of June. There's a bit of scatter in there, so we can't rule out chance that it might be cooler than this uh, indicates, but generally does look as though those upper air temperatures are taking off and lifting up uh, once again as we go into the end of May and beginning of June period. There are one or two really quite hot outliers, especially this one up here. That is an outlier, but I think the general trend is definitely upwards. Precipitation-wise, there's going to be uh, rainfall spikes coming up over the next week or two, so it's going to be completely dry, but you wouldn't say it's necessarily overly wet uh, either. It just should be generally quite showery, I think, over the next uh, week or so, and possibly as we go out into the end of May and the beginning of June, uh, you know, we just get rather showery, so um, not overly wet, but there will be precipitation coming and going. Temperature anomalies from the 18th of May to 26th are going to be above average for England and Wales, but closer to average for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Precipitation anomalies from the 18th to 20th of May are going to be largely drier than average in most parts of the country, so very gradually we're finding our way back to uh, warm, dry weather, essentially as we've been in, again, for many, many months. Latest wind from that from EarthNordSchool.net shows up drawing up wind from a southerly direction today, with low pressure out to west, high pressure to the east, we bring up warmth from the south, and uh, we expect thunderstorms in the south and east tonight. More about that with Stormwatch. Right, so this is how the UK at Euro is looking for Saturday on, at midnight and uh, we're in a showering westerly flow uh, then. A little bit cooler uh, perhaps across the country with these westerly winds, but um, rather showery in the south. High pressure never, uh, rather showery in the north, I should say. High pressure never all that far away from the south, though, with this ridge uh, still building in from the ever-present Azores High. Uh, moving into next week, we'll find uh, low pressure perhaps deepening to the west of Scotland. That starts to push in from off the Atlantic. That might bring a spell of uh, cooler, wetter weather, particularly to the northern half of the country as we go through into, mid into the middle of next week. It is a very long way away, though, that, so it won't necessarily verify, but maybe something a bit cooler, a bit more unsettled for a time through the middle part of next week. Icon is looking like this. Again, for Saturday, high pressure reaching into the southwest, bringing a reasonable amount of dry weather there, a little bit showering in the north. It will be cooler uh, across the country into Sunday. Again, ridge of high pressure uh, through the country. That weakens through the early part of next week as low pressure comes in from off the Atlantic. That low pressure will bring cloud and outbreaks of rain. We keep it unsettled, cool and showering through the middle part of next week, and then as we move to the end of the Icon run, which gets us midday on Wednesday, this day next week. Um, they're rather cool and showery, particularly for more northern areas. I think towards the southwest, so it probably won't be all that unsettled. We're not all that far away from the Azores High, which is still looking rather ridgy. GFS Midnight Run, again, looking rather cool and showery in the north. The driest weather will be in the south through the weekend. Then that high pressure you know, gives a dry day probably on um, on uh, Sunday. Monday looks like it turns a bit more unsettled with low pressure to both the south and also to the west uh, as well. 
Um, but we're only set through the middle part of next week, but it's not long before that high pressure is building back in. So you head up towards day 10. High pressure has to go and bring you back up from the southwest, but low pressure returns for day 10 itself, which is the 28th of May. So I'll tell you air mass is a dual really between high pressure and low pressure uh, uh, for the uh, for around the day 8, 9, 10 period. It's the extended range of Azores high again, builds up for the end of May and into the, into the beginning of June, which gets us to Wednesday, the 1st of June here. Um, got high pressure sitting over and to the east of the country, pulling in potentially a warm or a very warm submarine to southwest wind. Looking at the upper air temperatures, they're beginning to turn hotter once again. France, Spain, Portugal looking pretty hot too. And then uh, into the end of the uh, GFS midnight run, which today gets us to Friday, 3rd of June. Again, high pressure is well and truly in the ascensing, bringing lots of dry and quite warm weather with it, you would have thought, on the GFS midnight run. That, of course, is to the to bank holiday. So that's the Jubilee bank holiday of the, the, the uh, 3rd uh, of June, I think. So um, the uh, Jubilee bank holiday weekend is now coming into the time frame of the GFS while we will be doing updates for the uh, extended bank holiday weekend uh, in a couple of days' time, I would have thought. GFS 6 there, uh, looks like that. So again, lots of dry weather uh, in the south as we go into Saturday. It will be a little bit more unsettled, showery in the north. For the early part of next week, low pressure comes in for off the Atlantic African cloud and outbreaks of showery rain and cooler temperatures for the early part of next week as well. And we keep it generally unsettled as we move up toward day 10 uh, before high pressure begins to push up from the south, from the southwest, so it's increase, increasingly dry uh, again. Uh, beyond day 10, high pressure to our northeast, low pressure to our southwest, drawing up wind in a southerly southeast direction, turns very warm, maybe even rather hot, but looks unsettled with low pressure, that's bringing risk of some thunder into southern and southwestern areas as we go into the very end of the month. It's Tuesday, 31st of May. High pressure ain't going further north, it's around low pressure to ease up. Coming south, that could bring uh, showers, long as well as rain, and maybe even some thunderstorms uh, with it. To the very end of the chair, six out. Again, we have high pressure sitting to our north. Winds are pulling in from an easterly direction with low pressure over France. We could bring heavy rain, maybe thunder, into more southern areas. Those easterly winds will, however, be pretty warm. And then the GEF, well, that's a more unsettled scenario, though, it has to be said, but the, um, from the 6th end for the bank holiday uh, de weekend, you know, for the Jubilee uh, weekend, that's more unsettled scenario with those fungi lows for south than the east winds with the 6th end compared to the GFS midnight run. Uh, right, the GM looks like this. If you enjoyed the video, please just smash the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, thank you so much for Matt, and drop a comment. Comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. Right, the GM again with high pressure building up from the southwest into the weekend. Bring quite a dry weather to England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland will be cooler and more showery. Through the early part of next week, again, low pressure brings showery weather, particularly to more northern and western areas. And then moving up toward day 10, high pressure returns around days 8, 9, 10. So by the time you get through day 10, which is the 28th of May, uh, we're looking mainly dry and uh, very warm potentially there with high pressure to both south and the east pulling it, pulling up wind from the southerly or southeasterly direction. And then the ECM uh, WF looks like that. So uh, again, over the weekend, the driest weather, weather will be in the south. will be a little bit more unsettled further north. Early next week, probably turn cooler and more unsettled with low pressure bringing showery rain across the country. Into the second half of next week, though, higher pressure will reach up from the south, bringing increasingly dry weather across the country. Not overly warm with that. Winds coming in from like a west or a northwesterly direction. So it's not a heat wave, but it will be setting down there through, uh, through the second half of next week with uh, increasing amounts of dry and uh, probably relatively fine weather away from northern Scotland. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from threadshow.com. We've got some fun storms potentially tonight. Have a look at storm watch uh, about that in more southern and eastern areas. That low pressure will get out of the way and take its uh, fungi showers with it overnight into tomorrow. Um, more and more dry weather. Showery conditions returning though on Friday. Weekend turns drier for England, Wales, but Scotland and Northern Ireland will be rather showery. And then into the early part of next week. Further showery conditions coming and going before things then start to dry out into the second half of next week as that area of high pressure takes over to the west and to the southwest. 
These are the options on the table. Within the ESL Ensemble today, four day term from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 28th of May. Switching three members of the ECM Ensembles, including the control and the operational run, have high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. That means the most essential weather is in the north. The driest weather will be in the south. Uh, six new members of the East Seattle Souls have high pressure over the slightly eastern country, mainly dry and potentially very warm. And 12, again, with high pressure over country, mainly dry and very warm. So, actually, the majority option, if you put 16 there, again, with the 12 there, is to increasingly dry and warm weather around day 10. And even the 23 that we have here are showing the Azores high, pushing back in from the south and from the southwest. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 2nd of June. 15 members of the ECM on top have high pressure still over top of the country, mostly dry. With that, 13 have low pressure just to our east, high pressure to our southwest. Winds are coming in from sort of a west and northwest direction. 12 with a deep drop of low over top of the country. That's going to be a very cool, wet option, of course, but it is uh, a minority option. And then uh, 11 have high pressure sitting somewhere between Iceland and Norway bringing in an easy wind and watch out for lower pressure to the south, potentially threatening some uh, wet weather into our southern areas, maybe, as we progress further on into the bank holiday weekend. Finally, service so, week two means a 500 millibar height and is breaking down into week periods. The first week period taking us from the 18th to 24th of May. The coming week, we'll have high pressure to our south and east, Mainly dry with that, and uh, pretty warm as well, bringing up wind from that southerly to southwesterly direction. Week 2 will be the 25th of May to the 31st, with high pressure again right in over top of the country, mainly dry and potentially very warm. Week 3 is going to be the 1st to the 7th of June, with high pressure to the north, reaching down with the side of Europe. Again, quite a bit of dry weather in with that. Maybe a little bit cooler and fresher with winds coming in from like an easterly direction, but the main idea is still high pressure to be dominant. And then week four is going to be the 8th to the 14th of June, with high pressure pulling out to the west, low pressure around Iceland, and winds coming in from more of a westerly type direction. So, uh, probably begin to turn a little bit more showery and rather cooler uh, with that. But, of course, it's four weeks away. It's uh, very, very unreliable. Probably won't verify. Uh, it looks as though within the rest of May and even into early June, high pressure will remain the dominating factor for the time being, as it has done pretty consistently since last August, to be honest. End of last August, uh, sort of final week of uh, last August was when this uh, Azores high started uh, dominating the weather, and it's been pretty consistently in control of weather ever since then, uh, to be honest, with a few exceptions here and there, obviously. But, yeah, the Azores high has been very, very consistently rigging in since uh, sort of late summer last year. And uh, it looks like it's set to continue, certainly, for the next two or three weeks, anyway. Right, so if you enjoyed the video, please don't smash the like button, make sure to sub to the channel, thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. It's amazing, incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for us. We're on the grind to 14,000 subscribers, so uh, if you can give us a sub, uh, then that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Right, so that's it for today's uh, video. Tomorrow, we're going to have the European Outlook after the 6 a.m. forecast. And I'll have a 10 to 14 day for you as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But uh, for today's video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.